Truth or dare? What? Don't you think we're a little old for that game? Come on, just play along. Truth or dare? Truth. Alright. When you were little, who was your favorite cartoon character? I don't know. Um, Spongebob, I guess. Really? Yeah? Why? Because everybody says Spongebob. Well, it was my first thing that popped into my head. Yeah, you're not supposed to just say anything that comes into your head. You're supposed to give things time and think about it a little. No, I don't think so. The first thing that pops into your head is your instincts. I always follow my instincts. Well, what if your instincts told you to jump off the cliff? Well, then I'd jump. There'd probably be like a mattress or something at the bottom. And if there wasn't? Well, then I'd be dead. Isn't that a bad thing? Well, I think that depends on how you look at it. How could death be good? I'd find out what death was like before you. Why would you want to do that? Aren't you curious? Not really. I mean, what if after death there's nothing? Well, then I just wouldn't be anymore. Yeah, that's the point. Isn't that terrifying? Of course it is, but there's just a good a chance that there's something after death. But what if there isn't? But what if there is? Alright, let's, let's say there is something after death. What if it's hell? What if it isn't hell? Oh, so now you're saying you're going to get into heaven. No, no. I'm saying what if it isn't heaven or hell or purgatory? What if it's something more? What do you mean, more? I have no clue. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> Not really. Hmm. Truth or dare? Dare. I dare you to throw yourself out that window and find out. 